Brian Powell of I Run Far here before the second annual Ultra Race of Champions in Virginia with Ellie Greenwood. Uh, how you doing, Ellie? Good. Yeah, glad to be in Virginia. It's been uh, a little while than longer than we since we last spoken. Have we? Uh, I don't think we've met up since. Oh, we were, never mind. C C C. A whole three a whole weeks. Four weeks. <laughs> Long time in the Iron Far World. It is. That's like yeah. 14 races ago. Exactly. Um, well, you've uh, had quite the season so far. I mean, just going through from Chuckanut, Western States, CCC, White River. You've you've been racking up wins left and right. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. And you've been racing a ton. It's not, yes. How are you feeling coming end of September? Um, it's starting to feel like the end of September. <laughs> um, and by that, I mean, I'm super excited to be here. I'm feeling good. Um, I've been, I'm still like loving going out and running, but obviously like the more races, like just like cumulative, um, maybe I'm a little bit tired, um, but then that's when it's good to be a race you've not done before because you've got the excitement of, you know, a new course, new competitors maybe, like being at a race out east, which I've not really done before. Um, so yeah, it's beginning to feel maybe slightly towards the end of the season, um, but this was a main race for the year, so in that sense it's kept me going. Um, and I had some other races like Squamish 50 or White River that were more like, yeah, I raced, but I didn't race all out or like mm -hmm. super hard. They were more like, they were just events that I really wanted to do, so I said, hey, I'm going to throw them in there. Whereas this is more of a, you know, focus race, even though it's towards the end. Yeah. Are you, does that mean you're going to take some recovery after this, or you're going to try to squeeze in another uh, two months of training and come back for uh, the North Face 50? Um, I'm not going to do North Face 50. Um, I'm doing JFK. Okay. Um, it's the 50th year. I, I like to do, I mean, I do like to do, like, you were off one of the newer races that they're sort of, like, bringing people together, which I think is more like uh, North Face 50. But then I also like to do the ones that are sort of historical. They've got you know lots of runners in the past that have been on that mm -hmm. course and that kind of thing so that appeals to me too so i decided to do jfk um instead that's great i mean that puts together the history of western states you did comrades i mean you know jfk like to me they're more like iconic races mm -hmm. and they're ones that are real part of our sport and maybe races like Eurac and North Face have become those kind of races um, but I think they've got a different appeal than yeah the more traditional races. Um, this race has a, a mix of road and trail, rugged and fast. You have a very varied skill set. Are you excited about getting to test them all, all your skills out on one oh, day? Totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I have no idea what this course is like. Like, okay, this morning we've, you know, been driving around, so I've got to see a little bit of just kind of what the area is like. Mm -hmm. I've never set foot on the trails, um, but I like road running, I'll admit it. <laughs> um, so, no, but I love trail running too, right? So to have the combination of both, um, and these definitely look like scenic roads, right? Like you're not on like highways or anything, right? Like you're starting to have the full colors and, kind of and it's rolling and it's nice like countryside kind of scenery. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, no, I'm pretty excited to see the course. Excellent. Um, going into this race, there's a little bit less competition maybe on the very high end that would normally push you. There, Lizzie's not here. Some of the people yeah. that were at Western States aren't here. It's a sort of a, a new course for this year, so there's no course record to go after. Yeah. How do you, how are you going to motivate yourself to, to push on um, the race day? There's still some good women here, yes. and you can absolutely, particularly, it's the most dangerous thing to say the day before the race is to get too laid back about it. So no, it's still a race. There's still, I believe, Liza Howard's coming. If oh, she's not. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, Reagan's here, I she believe. Is. Okay, she won so as far last, as I know. So she won last year, so she knows the course and whatever. So my attitude is like, yeah, you can't be too relaxed about it. Um, and if I have a good day, um, you know, and maybe I'm, I'm in the lead and, you know, maybe significantly in the women's lead, then uh, I'll, uh, I'll look out for some men on the course. <laughs> Perhaps check a few people. <laughs> you know, no, but I no. mean, it's it's nice to run with the men, yeah. but you know, and it's friendly competition, and it's definitely not the same as like if you're like running with a heated woman, battle, right? Yeah. No, exactly. Um, but then I think we all respect each other as runners, and part of that is okay. We're in a race, so yeah. game on. Yeah. Well, best of luck out there tomorrow, Ali, so and have fun. Thank you.